The around $800 notebook market has lots of powerful laptops that can fulfill all your needs, sans AAA gaming with high details and fast refresh rates. You can even find a couple of premium ultra-portable models such as Microsoft Surface Laptop at this price point. Overall, if you have $800 to spend, there are plenty of choices to pick from. Even better, many of those choices are pretty good machines that don't have major shortcomings. That said, the sheer number of offerings might take the buying process more complicated than it needs to be. This is why we've created our list of the top 5 laptops under $800 and their key features, plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all the products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You could also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, legitpick.com. Number 5. HP Envy X360 2-in-1 The powerful 2.3GHz Intel Core i5-6200U processor makes it easy and fast to operate, along with the 4GB of DDR3L RAM that allows you to store ample data on the laptop safely. The 15.6-inch screen enhances the experience of watching your favorite movies and videos and even playing your favorite games. The NVIDIA GeForce 930M graphics makes the graphical experience outstanding. And along with the Windows 10 Home 64-bit operating system and a graphics card RAM size of 2000 megabytes, it is ideal for laptop computers. This high-performance 2-in-1 device gives you all the horsepower you need to deliver any task, an adequate amount of memory and storage so you have the power you need to surf and work on your documents. The stunning silver color adds to the grace of the device. Number 4. ASUS ZenBook 13 The ZenBook 13 from ASUS comes with a 1080p OLED display which is the best screen you can get for $800 or less. OLEDs are usually reserved for flagship devices, so it's great to see one in this category. The display covers 100% of the DCI-P3 gamut, making it an excellent choice for color-critical work. It's also fairly bright. Overall, this OLED display is better than most standalone PC monitors. Other specs aren't top of the line, but should be enough for regular work as well as for some light photo and video editing. The 11th Gen Core i5 is a pretty capable processor, but only 8GB of RAM prevent us from recommending this device to power users. You also only get 256GB SSD, but luckily, users can replace it with a larger capacity unit. The build quality is pretty good, but not on par with premium devices such as Xpis 13 or Microsoft Surface Laptop. As for the other features, the keyboard isn't among the best on the market. The touchpad is huge, precise, and very pleasant to use. The webcam is bad, but at least it supports Windows Hello. Connectivity options include Wi-Fi 6, expansion ports include 1 USB-A, 2 USB-C ports with Thunderbolt 4, a full-size HDMI, and a microSD card reader. If we had a headphone jack, this would be one of the best offerings on an ultra portable. Finally, the battery life is pretty good. Overall, the ZenBook 13 provides tremendous value. It has an OLED screen, a powerful 11th gen Intel CPU, Thunderbolt 4 support, Windows Hello Camera, and Wi-Fi 6. It lacks more storage space and memory, with the former being expandable. If you want the best-looking screen in an $800 laptop, or if you want a relatively powerful Ultrabook that offers a lot for the money, this one's a great choice. Number 3. Lenovo IdeaPad L340 Gaming Laptop As far as the brightness, screen quality, and gaming performance is concerned, you get your value for money. You might have to compromise on the battery life, but this is what you get in a budget series. But it still doesn't matter as what you want to do with this laptop is gaming, and this is what you get. And it's not like you only have to do gaming on this laptop, you can do other basic stuff like Microsoft Office, basic applications, etc. So if you move around a lot and love your gaming, this is the best value for money product you can get. The graphics card rocks, and the processor and refresh rate of the screen will not let you down. Number 2. Acer Nitro 5 Gaming Laptop Another one of the budget series laptops, this one wins in terms of its looks. The battery life will not let you down, especially this feature makes it even better. You can use it like any other laptop, and when you want to have some gaming action, boom, the 100 plus FPS will make you a champion in gaming. The looks combined with smooth performance and strong processor and graphics card make it value for money. Of course, if you put in some more money, you can get better features. But with just $800, this is the best deal you can get. The best thing I liked personally is that it's slim and it makes it easy to carry around. Plus, open slots for other compartments leave room for upgrades in the laptop. Number 1. Acer Swift 3 Now, when we say a budget sub $800 device, we mean notebooks that cost between $600 and $700 without getting near the upper $800 price limit. And the best budget laptop under $800 you can get right now is the Acer 3 equipped with an 8-core Ryzen 7 4700U processor. Other specs include 8GB memory and a 512GB NVMe SSD, 
Overall, a pretty powerful package for the money with a CPU that can power through even the most demanding workloads. As is the case with the Intel equipped Swift 3, the main stumbling point performance-wise is only 8GB of memory. But other than that, for the price, this is a very powerful laptop. Aside from potent hardware, the Swift 3 also offers very good build quality and an attractive ultra-portable design. Not as premium as flagship devices, but great at this price point. Other pros include a great keyboard, Wi-Fi 6, and a fingerprint reader, and a long-lasting battery. The 1080p screen is the biggest negative. It's dim and doesn't have great colors. It's not suitable for color-critical work, but other than that, it's more than usable for work, browsing, and media consumption. Overall, the Swift 3 offers incredible performance for the price. The device is also well-built. It supports Wi-Fi 6 and comes with a 512GB NVMe SSD while still being a budget choice in the around $800 laptop market. What to expect from laptops under $800? First of all, the average screen quality is much higher than what you can find in the sub $400 and the sub $600 laptop market. That means IPS displays with high brightness and good to great colors, which you can use outside without issues. As for the resolution, most devices rock a 1080p display, but you should be able to find a couple of devices supporting 1440p or 1600p displays. Next, 16GB memory is a standard here. Ultra-portable convertibles and budget models do come with 8GB of RAM. If you need 16 gigs, you can find a model packing that much memory without issues. You can find lots of powerful CPUs in this price segment. We're talking about the Core i5 and i7, as well as Ryzen 5 and 7 CPUs. In other words, processors that are more than powerful enough for casual use and that should be a solid choice for most users. Do know that the most of these mobile CPUs are lower power versions, which use less power but can still be pretty snappy when needed. As for the build quality, you can get a device with a metal body and great build quality, but don't expect the same quality as on flagship convertibles. Finally, extra features such as a fingerprint sensor, Thunderbolt ports, Wi-Fi 6, or a touchscreen are relatively easy to find. On the flip side, devices that pack all of these features are quite rare at this price point. When it comes to gaming laptops, expect devices with relatively humble specs, but also with relatively decent cooling systems and solid IPS displays. Newer models also come with 144Hz displays. And yes, webcams are still crap, no matter the price. Let us know in the comments which model works for you the best and why. Thank you for watching the video and that is all for this one. If you find this video helpful in any way, give a huge thumbs up, stay tuned for the upcoming videos by subscribing to our channel. See you guys in the next one.